Teach me grappling. What's up, guys? Brian Peterson. I've got the boys here again. It, all you guys, back by popular demand. Everybody likes the uh, the wrestlers. They want to see them train, and uh, they're always complimenting them, talking about how good they look with their wrestling moves. So, anyway, guys, this is file this under the same subject as last video. This is going to be jujitsu for wrestling. Okay. Oftentimes, wrestling works in jujitsu. We see double legs, single legs, all those things. All the wrestling moves are great for bringing into jiu-jitsu because jiu-jitsu has submissions. Uh, it doesn't really work the other way so well. Most of the jiu-jitsu guys, they can't go into wrestling matches and do well because the match literally ends with a takedown and a pin. So a jiu-jitsu guy typically doesn't have those kind of skills at high levels. So of course they do at their level. But uh, there are some things that jujitsu can offer wrestling. And these are some of the things that I've kind of like stumbled on and come up with. And I have some of my boys working on them. And I really hope next year that we're going to show off some of these techniques. They're already doing it at practice. So we're going to be, uh, just mark my words, in the next year, we're going we're gonna to show you guys some footage, some live footage of pulling some of these moves off. So check it out. Um, I'll, I'll start with uh, or Alex here. So guys, look. I need a mat return, okay? Now first let me say, a mat return is basically like controlling the guy, maybe you do a trip, you bring the guy down, uh, maybe you do, maybe you step in front, pop your hips and do a lift. Um, those are your typical moves. You might see our, uh, our cross scissor trip going back. So that's a good one. Um, and there's more. but. I want to talk about rules in, in folk style wrestling. I am not allowed to do this one. I'm going to jump on you. Okay. Just stabilize. Good. Okay. We're not allowed to do this in wrestling and kick out whether I use this or this. I'm not allowed to do that. So they, they, they don't let you jump on your opponent. Same as uh, Connie Basami. I'm not allowed to jump. I cannot jump behind and take people down in wrestling. Um, I can do that in freestyle. I cannot do it in folk style. So the way we're going to do this one, okay, um, what I'm going to do, here, come on over here. Okay, I'm going to drop to my right side. When I drop, I'm going to place my foot here. You see that? As I'm coming down, my left hand is going to grip his hip. I'm gonna grip on the hip. And then my right hand is gonna come under the, the thigh. Now, I'm staying in contact with the ground. I've never jumped, okay? But as I'm pulling this guy down on a, on a very simple guy, you're just gonna pull hard, drop him right here, okay? Now, as I drop the guy here, I'm controlling the thigh. I have a hook right here, okay? On the back side of his, his uh, leg, and in a wrestling match, you're going to get different reactions. You might first think maybe a guy, let's say you go that way. I just hold the leg and I lift and I'm putting the guy on his back. So I'm scoring. I'm scoring points once he's at a 45 degree angle. Now, it seems like the easiest way for him is to not go that way, is to go the other way. Like, it's possible if I do nothing, he could step all the way over. And now we have a scramble. You see that scramble? Can you just roll back? Perfect. So now I've got him here. If he rolls that way, I want to try to like control this thigh. See from here to here. Now I have leg control on both sides and I want to stop him. Then I'm going to try to get up on my elbow. Okay. I get up on my elbow and now I've got much better positioning. Okay. So now if he tries, I've got a good control. He can't step over. If he manages to step over, I raise my head. Yeah, go all the way. I raise my head up his, like basically his crotch as I run him towards his back. And then now you guys are here. He's gonna be up, forced at this point to flee and run away. As he runs away, you've got him on the mat. So think about that. Even if you didn't score back points, we're talking about wrestling rules. I didn't even score. I mat returned him and he had to roll all the way over. Now he's gotta do all the work of wrestling back up to his feet as I'm trying to bring the guy down 
let's say he clears that two on one I have, and I can't bring this guy, I'm trying to trip him, but I can't, okay, I'm checking, I can't, so I'm gonna drop in. I drop, see I'm pulling the hip, I pull down, drop him into position. As he starts to flop, he also might try to do the sit up. So they post their hands behind them and they try to do the sit up. When they do that, my left hand that was under here grabbing his hip, I take it out and I grab his wrist. I go for his wrist. Once I get his wrist, I'm gonna go ahead and just try to come on top of me so you can feel. I'm gonna start to sit up and I pull his wrist. So I don't know if you saw how I did that. I, this is kind of what jujitsu does for you. So those wrestlers out there, they, you guys can do it too. But what I'm saying is like the jujitsu movements of jujitsu really help you do what I just did right now. It's kind of hard to explain. I did it from my, almost like my guard, right? I was right here and he's trying to come on top of me. See that? And now you see how I have his wrist? This gets hairy for a wrestler. You start panicking. You don't need to, look what I have. I just extend the hook, okay? As I lift, I sit up and I can pull his wrist. I can pull this, try to move, just so you can see. And now I can like use this to score. Now I'm scoring, near fault, come towards me. Yeah, keep coming, keep coming. You see how I have both, now I have the wrist. I can be on my toes, boom, come on top. And the guy's totally controlled right here. This can be a cradle. It can be all kinds of stuff. So I think we covered most. There is a little hairy problem you could end up in when you do this move. And I'll try to, we'll try to get into it. It's where you almost get caught in a headlock. Okay, so what will happen is I'll drop into the position and I'll pull and then he'll end up on this side. So he'll get up and you'll land here. Now, if this happens, look what I have. My right hand's under. To a referee, this still looks like scramble territory, okay? Your arm is not like this, which is traditional. He, he has full control right now. He has a takedown or reversal in this case. So if I'm here, and as long as I'm on my side, like try to move, try to get on top of me. Like see, I'm still moving, right? Now what if you turn towards the legs, uh, Alex? See how I'm like playing and I just went into banana split. So I'm working here. I need to know how to solve this problem. I cannot be, uh, there's a lot that can get lost with what I just did. It requires some skill, but I'm showing you jujitsu, bringing it into folk style wrestling, okay? One last time and then I'm gonna let you guys kind of drill. You ready, Trent? Yeah. You're absorbing all this? Okay, so guys, so look, I'll try to, can we do that position? Oh, this time, don't fall down. So they can see, don't fall down. So I'm trying to go here. I go in, he's trying to come on top. Yeah. Now, if I can come here and sweep you and pull you out, I will, right? Then I can control you and put you on your back. If you come on top of me and we're here, guys, do not panic. I can control this arm. Keep wrestling. Yeah, I turn. You see the legs? And now we're in a scramble here, right? I can hold this, guys. Keep coming. Get to the cross face. Yeah. See how I'm like still wrestling you? Now we're okay. Come out and get back on top. There's definitely some wrestling going on. You gotta know more than what I'm just showing. It isn't simple. But remember, when we pull the guy down, we don't wanna be in that scramble. We wanna pull him out. So that was when he keeps his balance, right? Well, remember when I try to like keep your balance, when I'm here guys, look, I pull his hip and I pull him back. You see how hard that was? Keep balance, now you try to come, try to move. Now I'm gonna play here, guys, look. I'm looking for that wrist. That's it. Capture the wrist, and now he's on his back. Okay? You guys ready to play? Yeah. Maybe we'll, let's see what we can do. Let's see how it comes up. Go for it. Just drill. Remember, good pull to hit. Pull, 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 pull. Nice. Score. Nice, keeping that arm controlled. Good, you give it a shot out. And it's okay to fight a little bit because through fighting and resisting, you guys are gonna find out what works, what doesn't, and where your skills are. Yes. Nice, play it. 
play it. Nice. Sweet. Keep it going. Let's get a few more. Give these guys a look. This is a mat return, guys. We're talking about for folk style wrestling. He's dropping in. Okay. What if you flop all the way over, can you? Can you get where he's got to use that? Yeah, that's okay. Keep driving that. Yes. Beautiful control of the body right there. Beautiful control of the body. Go for it, Alex. Do you guys know what I mean? Like try to kick over. Do you know what I mean? Like where you guys, you either got to go here. You got to yeah. use that hand. Or you just better raise your head real high, real quick. So he's going to step. Yeah, he goes that way. If he goes all the way over, just get up. Yeah, yeah. Use those arms. See how you entangle those legs? If he gets back to his base, let him get back to his base. So what? He builds up again, right? You just map return him. He's coming. You check stuff. It doesn't work. Boom, you come into it. That's it. Control him again. Put him on his back. Try to get a couple swipes. Try to get some points out of it. If it works, great. If it doesn't, that's okay too. Just make sure he doesn't reverse us. That's the number one thing. Let's see if you guys can get, I want to see a scramble like where, where it's almost like you're going to lose it. You know? Can you guys get in that situation where the guy comes on top? Come on top of him, Alex. Yeah, like this. Play here, Trent. Play the game. Don't get pinned. Don't get pinned. Play the scramble. That's good. Nice. One more for Alex. Try to play that scramble. Don't fall down, Trent. Stay on top like you're going to catch him in a headlock kind of situation. So. He's got, you got to challenge him. Don't fall down. Fall on top of him. Don't fall down. Yep. Play it. Play it. Nice hook. It's still a game. We're in play. Referee still. I, I, don't, I don't see control by that guy. Nice job, Alex. Way to come back on top. Cross face central. Nice. Beautiful job. Cross face. It's what's for dinner. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Teach me grappling. If you guys enjoyed this video, um, if you're a jujitsu guy, this may not make that much sense. You might go, wow, I could use this to bring somebody down. Usually if you're doing this in jujitsu, you're probably gonna be putting them in like leg locks, like 50-50 and stuff like that. Um, this is more, again, geared towards folk style wrestling. We're giving folk style wrestling reactions against jujitsu kind of style movements, which help us get that near fall for a wrestling match. So. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, always trying to evolve and get better. Thank you to the boys for uh, outstanding, outstanding uh, demonstrations. Thank you guys so much. If you like this video, like it, share it, subscribe, and click the links down below at Patreon and PayPal. Contribute to this channel. That helps feed these starving children. And um, we'll be back for more with more great stuff.